Welcome to the Super Facts Show on the Super Facts Network. Featuring St. Laz, who also hosts the popular web series Gem Pop and music journalist Mark Walter Ward. They have discussions about hip hop, culture, society, philosophy, and everything else. Now available on YouTube and wherever else you get your podcasts. What up, world? It's your boy, Mark Walter Ward, Super Facts Show, Super Facts Network. Recently on Instagram, uh, my man James Motivates, our, our guest here from the 40 Central Podcast. How you doing, brother? Good, good. And yourself? Good, good, good. I mean, I'm doing great when I see people doing things like, like what you're doing. Um, a lot of times when I have the, the rappers or the musicians on the show, there's such negative connotations to them. Um, I always try to, uh, you know, ask what they do for their community in a non-judgmental manner either like don't nobody owe nobody shit but uh you know they do book bag drives and things of that nature and i like to highlight that and uh my wife went through trying to uh donate books before she was a teacher and had problems and i know a lot of people want to get involved and since you recently just did this book bag event i was hoping that you could quickly walk me through what 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 one what one needs to you know acquire the resources to give out uh, a place to do it at and to bring awareness to it. Uh, well, first, thanks for having me and shedding light on that, man. That's that's really big. You know, not so many people even gave a thank you for for that event. So for you doing this, like this is amazing. So I definitely want to start with that. Giving my shout out to you and, and your platform. I definitely appreciate that for sure. Um, but to answer your question. The, the way it got started was, I mean, uh, one of my friends came to me, he said, you know, I got a vision. I'm going to do a book bag drive. Can you help me make it happen? I know you do a bunch of good things in the community. You know, let's let's make it work. So first things first, you got to find like-minded people, um, people who, who think like you, who have the same the same motive, the same drive, and want the same outcome. So what started there? Then it went to planning, um, trying to find people who are, uh, other people who are interested. And then it went to fundraising, fundraising and advertisements, like, Going to the network of people that you have, asking them for donations, going to the community, asking them for donations. Because, um, you know, we can spend a bunch of money on, on nonsense, but when it comes to giving back to the community, all of a sudden, you know, people are a little shorthanded. But, you know, as long as you put the pressure on them and let them know it's for the right cause and it's for the kids, um, people usually can look past the nonsense and be like, okay, like, let me give $20, $50, $100. You know, every little bit helps. So you got to have a, a fundraising goal. Um, whether the goal be $500, $500 whether it be $1,000, you, you get that goal. And whether or not you meet it, you just work with what you get. You just set a hard deadline for yourself. All right, I'm going to collect money to this date. And whatever I have, I'm going to make do with what I get. So we were lucky enough to get, I think we raised close to 1000 And uh, And uh, my friend did the orders and stuff like that for the book bags and the pencils and the supplies. And um, it's, it's basically at that point getting everything at the... Um, at the uh, wholesale level, you want to buy things wholesale because it's cheaper. So you get the pencils at wholesale, the book bags at wholesale, the, the, all the supplies and stuff like that. And then the last thing is getting the space. Um, we were lucky enough to work to have a gym. So I work at a, at a gym at a community center and um, we were able to get the gym space for free since I worked there. And after that, it's just spreading the word and making sure everything else is organized. And if, if, if they get initial, um, like you said, people don't always have enough, enough money, even though they have money for nonsense, you know, like uh, my man on Shawshank who kept writing the letters, a lot of times persistence overcomes resistance. Exactly, exactly. Like they, they may not want to donate to you in the beginning because they may think it's not, you're not serious. So they may not even know you. Or they may think that, oh, it's, it's not that big of a deal. Like my $50 or my $20 doesn't mean anything where it's like, that's, that's, that can't be the furthest thing for the truth. Like every right. donation counts. And when they see you, that you're persistent, if uh, you asked them once, they said no, but now you're asking them again, a third time, a fourth time. It's like, you know what? It's like the DJ Khaled effect. Like when he's keep asking for that verse, eventually he's going to get that verse. It's the same thing for raising money. You keep asking for the money, eventually they're going to give it to you. Word. It took five, five, six albums, but he got a Jay-Z song, didn't he? Exactly. Exactly. So... Like, like I said, we're going to keep this brief because we don't want to intimidate anybody. But um, for the people who want to throw events and what, what, what are some good resources, be it, uh, you know, books, websites, um, organizations, anything that you might be aware of? Um, that's a really good question because we really did ours at like grassroots level. Like we didn't go to any organizations, politicians or anything like that. It was really just 
using the network of people that we already had, um, going to the community communities where we already live. Well, 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 not to interrupt you, but one thing you said, uh, uh, the community center, the community center, you said one of the things you said that, that's very, very integral is uh, find like-minded people. Yes. And, and a community center is a great place to find like-minded people. Absolutely. Yeah. To, to even further that point, going to community centers, going to local schools, um, local stores where the communities are spending money, um, anywhere that the community is invested. Like if the community is given to your organization, I believe they should have the, they should be given back. So if their community is spending money in a local pizza shop, if they spend it in the, in the local bank, if they spend it in a local T-Mobile, all those places that are in within that area, go to them too if you need help. Let them know that, let them know that what you have is, um, is serious and I start a GoFundMe. Um, so that way they know, like some people may not trust giving you the, the money directly to your, to your pocket, um, but they may trust, it may take you more seriously if they see a GoFundMe or some type of uh, website where they're like, okay, if I send my money here, I know that this is a legit thing and they're not just trying to scam me because, you know, people are doing scams every day. How does it feel when you're actually handing the, the I mean, I know obviously the answer is good, but if you, if you could, uh, you know, I, 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 I know that you're uh, quite a loquacious gentleman. How, how does it feel when, when you hand a book bag to a child? Man, giving a, giving a book bag to a child, you, you can't even put it into words until you actually do it because um, it's like you never know what somebody's going through. So it's like you thinking that, OK, like all they need is is the supplies. But it's like, no, nah, like they may need those supplies because they're not getting supplies or supplement for something else. So it's like, you know, you don't you don't really hear some of those stories until you meet with these families and these and these parents. And it's like, yo, like you don't even understand how much you helped me. Like, like you don't even understand like how much hope you just gave like to the community. Like e even for the people who don't get book bags, like. There are people who see it that are like, oh, shit, I want to do that myself, too. Like, you never know who you inspire and you never know who's watching. So sometimes it's even, it could be even bigger than the book bag. It, it could inspire another mind. Even teenagers that want to do stuff like that on their own. Like, I've had some teenagers reach out to me like, yo, like, I want to do my book. I want to do a book bag drive. Like, you never know. Like, so now that's even more families that could potentially be getting free supplies. So... I, I want to make two points on that. You know, uh, uh, another thing I think you might not have considered is... Uh, it, it, it's a beautiful thing that uh you know I, I'm, I'm sure like like I, I hate to be presumptuous or stereotypical but i'd imagine that the gym you were the community center and the book bags you were giving it out to was to a a, a a diverse crowd of kids like it wasn't all white kids for instance yeah 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 absolutely. And, it, and it's no secret that america has definitely tried to take or let's not say america people in america have tried to take the black man out of the household and I think mm -hmm. it's important for black kids to see a black man in the community giving back. Yes, absolutely. Um, especially because of the way we're generalized in the media. Because like, you know, I, you know, I grew up in the black community. Everybody that made it got the fuck out of there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, I mean Monty Williams from my neighborhood, and, and we saw him once after he went to college. Not, and that's real. And it really be like that. A lot of people they they leave the ghetto and they never come back. And I, you can't be mad at that. To each his own. Like it's America, it's a free country. You do whatever you want to do. Oh no, I, I mean, I mean, Monty Williams went on to do mad positive shit for for black people of all socioeconomic statuses. Like he doesn't have to come yeah. back to Forest Heights to do that. But you yeah. know, no, but it, it but yeah. it's still good to see James motivates handing out book bags because you know maybe maybe that births the uh, the James motivates. 2.0 which births the james motivate 4.0 and then we get james motivate supreme and then we get like the the, the apex being and all that you know what i mean <laughs> nah that's real i mean that's, that's the goal the goal is to just spark the next mind that's going to do it i can't be if I, like you know the I'm just guaranteed that i'm going to die one day so it's like you know you, you can only hope that you could inspire the next generation or the next few generations to, to keep it going Word and the last point I want to make, you might not be aware of this, but uh, people who, who who do drives and things of these natures talking about giving hope to kids. Um, I lived in Houston before I lived here, and uh, and kids got to wear uniforms to all public schools, right? And so and sometimes they can't afford them, so there's literally kids who don't go to school because they don't have the uniform that they're supposed to wear, and then they end up missing out on education. And there's so many rappers who I see their name get slandered in the media. When, when, when I was living down there, like seen it with my own eyes, Slim Thug, Zero, um, Hustle Man, uh, I, I, I can name 50 who, who, who are out there going to neighborhoods and giving out the school shirts, you know, the, the uniform shirts. 
and that, and that just makes such an incredible difference. And I bet you the majority of the country isn't even aware that there's all these uh, poor people in Texas that can't go to school in Houston because they can't afford the uniform shirts. Yeah, man, that's, 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 you hit it right on the nail, man. It's like, there's so many kids out there, but it's the cast 22, right? It's like, do you allow schools to, do you want your schools to wear uniforms and some kids can't afford them? Or do you have, have the opposite where you have no uniforms and then there are some kids who are being teased for the clothes that they're wearing. So it was like, that's always like the, the debate in like the education sphere. It's like, they, you know, the uniforms kind of show like it's keeping everybody on a level playing field. But like you said, are they, uh, are they helping those kids who can't afford the uniforms? Well, I mean, that, that, that's the point of doing a show like this. Like, I don't always know exactly what's right and I don't know what to do for everything, but th there's certain things that are known. And when people want that, they can go to look for it. And hopefully this will be a, a highly Googleable title and this will be evergreen content they can help people know how to, you know, get an event going such as that. Absolutely. Anybody can do it. That's the thing. Anybody can do it. With social media, with word of mouth, it's it's possible. And it's like, it doesn't have to be a lot of money. Even if you give away 10 book bags, that, that could be five to 10 families right there that you help. It doesn't yeah. have to be the, the, the most extravagant thing. Like a lot of times people want to do it the same way celebrities do it when they're giving out 50,000 book bags. And no, nah, I don't got to be that if you can't do it. Every I mean, little bit counts. It could be subway tokens if you live in a city where, where you go to school on the subway, you know? Yep, yep. It could be metro cards, subway tokens, T-shirts. Like, it could be whatever it is that you want it to be. Um, start small, like, get bigger. Exactly, exactly. You start small, and then you, it becomes an annual event, and it gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. Next thing you know, you got, you got your fifth annual event giving away – 2,000 book bags. When you, for you, in your first event, you started with 10. Right, and you got like the uh, young Wale asking you to perform or something, you know what I mean? Exactly. Right, well, man, thank you for your time, brother. Um, Like I said, I definitely want to, uh, shoot, I, I would love to talk to you about Afghanistan, but uh, I, 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 <laughs> I'm waiting, man. Whenever you're ready, let me know. I, I will, but in, in the meantime, everybody make sure you go check out James Motivates on Instagram, uh, the podcast 40 Central. And, and, and I'm, if I'm not mistaken, have you gotten involved with it in another show or anything? No, nah, that's really all I'm doing for right now. Okay, got you. All right, well, whenever that rolls around, we can talk about that. So thank you for your time, brother. Thank you for your good work. And uh, thanks for joining me. All right, bro. Shout out to you and everything you've got going on with your show, man. I appreciate the platform and the conversation always. And I can't wait to reconnect and talk about Afghanistan. No doubt. I, 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 I will make that happen sooner rather than later. Bet. All right, brother, you take it light. All right, brother, take care. Yes, sir. Peace. Peace.